Hi, I'm Terry, and today we're going to talk about a strike plate. Please subscribe to my video and please like my video because the likes really, really help us with YouTube. This is a really inexpensive way to fix up the strength of your door frame. So what it is, we call it, this is 18 inches, six inch centers, and there's different versions, different colors. I like the white one. We put this on the frame of the door, so we're gonna install this. We put this on the frame of the door. I like the white ones because it's mostly the, the, the frames are white. This is actually made by Donjo, but there's a whole pile of different suppliers. Now the important thing is, is the three inch screws. What you wanna do is when you, this thing has four, it's got the three inch screws go all the way down. What it does is you, hopefully you have a stud in the door frame. I've seen a few without studs, that's a different story. Once you get these screws all the way down, you've made this and it catches the stud and with this metal, you've made this door really, really difficult to kick in. We have other solutions like a good deadbolt and a wraparound plate. I have other videos on that, but uh, I saw a door the other day that the, actually the fire department had to break in and the frame held. It was a really good deadbolt uh, and it didn't have the wraparound plate, but it had this, this exact strike and they used their halogen bar and the frame was solid. There was a little scratch on the, on the plate. The door was totally ripped out, but the frame held and the lock actually held. I imagine if we would have put on the, uh, the security mag plate, I bet you the door would have held. So it would have been more difficult for the fire department, but the fire department would eventually get in, no problem at all, they got, they got all the toys. But your average burglar and thief, they not really coming that prepared, maybe a large screwdriver, or they're putting their boots to it, or their shoulder to it, if they're stupid, they don't know how to open it properly. So, uh, and, and, they, and the door frame just, just cracks, it's just split wide open. So this is inexpensive, it's easy to install. Let's just go, to, I'm gonna put one on a door right now. So here's my 18 inch strike plate and it's got six inch centers. Here's my door and I'm gonna put it on there. Now there's one heck of a gap in this door. Normally I would chisel this flush, but because I just don't wanna take out any extra wood and I got a heck of a gap there. So I just wanna tighten it up. I'm just gonna surface mount this. I know some people say, oh, you should chisel it out. And normally we, I would, but this is such a gap and sometimes there are even more. So I'm just gonna surface mount this. Now the first screw is just a one inch. I'm just gonna use this. So that's just a short little screw just to sort of hold it in there. Now what I'll do is I'll test the door to make sure it closes before I put the three inch screws in. And that's absolutely perfect. So now because it closes perfectly, all I'm gonna do now is, now I do this for two reasons sort of sometimes stop the wood from splitting, but also you can break a, a screw off installing it. My granddad used to uh, stick a little bit of oil or on the end of the screws. My dad just used to lick them, so it's <laughs> just to stop them. They get pretty hot going in, so I just we will we'll start them. Again, snug, you, if you put, you can tighten these right into the stud, you're gonna suck the whole door frame in. So again, just uh, snug. Let's see how the door closes. So this is a nice install. It's surface mounted. I could easily chisel it in but so many of the new building construction, huge gaps, 
huge gaps in the door. So this makes it tougher, and I will show you from the inside now. Covers it up. Very nice, doesn't rub. A perfect install. We got to put a new uh, grip set on this. This is the Slage uh, Sense. Now we've made it really hard to kick the door in. More difficult. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.